Can I have the next question, please? Yeah, um, I'm here on behalf of the Marks and Mottram family. Um, I, I've listened to a lot of the um, other questions that have been raised, and I've noticed two key words that you use. One of them you use, you're very comfortable. How could you be comfortable with actually destroying people's businesses, homes, throwing children into the street with fake bailiffs, killing animals, and you stand here and address a whole, a whole uh, uh, party of shareholders and feel that you could justify every single question and shut them down. It's absolutely appalling the way you've treated, especially just Noel Edmonds. You're giving him a time li limit of how long he can speak to you for. You have no right to do that. A shareholder can address and ask any question and you've not answered any of these questions. Last year, we proved that you had an earpiece in your ear and you were like a puppet speaking. And that's what you've done again this year. It's so obvious to anybody. You sound like a politician just rambling on and on and on. Would you, would, you like to, would you like to come to a question then, please? I'd like to come to the question that you have apparently given out a leaflet stating what you've done for H. Ross Reading. I didn't receive one of them. And I'm actually an H. Ross Reading victim that at this moment in time hasn't received a penny. You're saying you're not going to talk about it, but you're saying that you help the police. You don't. You obstruct the police. And what I'd like to ask your question, my, my real question is, why you've actually addressed another shareholder and said that you deal with complaints. You do not deal with complaints. You agreed to meet me downstairs last, at the last AGM. Suddenly, you were gone. I've actually contacted Antonio Horch Rosario from the request of Anthony Stanfield only this Monday to ask for an urgent meeting so that this didn't have to be aired in the public. And you've refused that. And also, it's very odd that I've been contacted on three occasions from Adrian White when the film Spank the Banker came out and it was in the British public of what actually this bank does to people. And you need to be aware that what they do is they destroy businesses that are viable, they steal £28 million of assets, they strip it out, they come into somebody's home without a warrant, without anything, and they literally evict children and throw them into the street. So to speak about mental health is absolutely diabolical because they are causing mental health issues. Okay, um, thank you for coming and uh, raising this question. But the same case has been raised now, I think, in three AGMs uh, in a row. It's a long, it's a long running dispute and which we don't um, agree on the facts uh, and we don't agree on the, um, the, the way you say the bank has treated. So um, this is a long running dispute which we're not going to resolve here, but I don't accept. Who ordered fake bailiffs? We have the proof of the call. Who ordered them to come and steal a family's home? Who ordered fake bailiffs to throw children into the street? and loot a family's home just to get the information that you didn't want exposed. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, this is a long-running dispute. It's not we, a long, yeah, well, this is a long-running dispute. We, you don't you, deal with disputes. You, you don't you've, actually deal with complaints. And you don't deal with H. Ross Reddy victims where people are sitting in jail for 48 years. So it's a proven crime. Okay. We, we uh, do our best to... You do not for, We do our best for businesses that need helping. you saying you're not dealing with complaints. So you've got a serious problem, haven't you, if you're not dealing with complaints. And what you do is you try to say, oh yeah, contact us and we'll get back to you. You don't get back, you obstruct. And that is the real okay, issue. Well, you obstruct I... the police forces, you obstruct shareholders, you obstruct full stop. Okay, well, you won't be Personal surprised. No confidence needs to be taken to this you, point. You won't be surprised. Of criminals. You won't be surprised to know that I don't agree with you. Uh, you, you have a long-running dispute, which we which we haven't been able to settle, uh, and we don't accept. But, uh, and if you want the leaflet, we will make sure that one of the stewards gives it to you. Do you think we personally hand it, or am I too much of the riffraff now? You are very, um, you're very welcome to one of the leaflets. We'll make sure you get those. Can I have the next question, please? My name's Thompson. It's a procedural point, although having... Attended this meeting for the first time in a few years. I'm absolutely alarmed.